dear students in this video i will discuss about tube well irrigation a tube well is a smaller diameter but large discharging well and draws water from underground reservoir the usual capacity of a tube well is 0.04 to cubic but the optimum capacity is 0.07 cubic compared to the open well the tube well diameter is less and in open well the diameter of the well will be more the length depth of the tube well is more and the open well depth will be less it means the at shallow depth uh, the we can see the open wells the aquifers you can see at shallow depth in open well location and the location of tube well <coughs> in the heart of the area to be irrigated and at the highest point so as to command the area by gravity flow and economy in pumping second point location where the aquifer is suitable to give dependable yield geophysical survey to be conducted to uh, search the aquifer which, uh, which should yield the good water to find out the pin point of the of the bore well location the geophysical survey is essential sufficiently removed from an existing well so as not to lead to interface between the wells and consequent low yield location cons co consistent with the property lines that is the circle of influence under maximum drawdown does not interface with the adjoining boundary lines the locations should be in such a way that the borewell should not be interfer interference with the other borewell if we, if the interference problem occurs where uh, the drawdown is occur in one borewell definitely that will affect into the another borewell which is uh, connected internal connected so we have to avoid the interference of the adjoining boundary lines removed from the sources of pollution it should be away from the uh, pollution area extensive water bearing formation of adequate depth and of transmission coefficient more than 1 into 10 to the power of minus 2 cm per second economical pumping with hole depth not exceeding 125 meter availability of electric supply to run the tube well continuous power is required to run the pump to lift the water from the greater depth located nearest to a motorable road and a town so that mechanical defects as and when they 
develop during running can be attended to promptly and economically it means the easily accessible road should be there for the two wheel so easily we can uh, maintain the repairs and all <coughs> various parts of the two wheel are the first one is pump second is motor The second one is the motor, third is impeller, fourth is well casing, fifth is strainer, sixth is blind pipe, seventh is delivery pipe and the last one is plug. The types of uh, two wells are the first one is strainer type two well it is you can see in the on the screen strainer type two well cavity type two well slotted type two well and artesian well. This is strainer type two well, and this is the slotted type two well. And this is cavity type tubal and this is artesian tubal artesian tubal is the water is oozing out with the static pressure here pump is not required to draw the water from the ground just we if we drill the bore well and insert the casing with the pressure of the ground water that is static pressure the water itself oozes out comes out so th these type of wells are called as artesian wells these artesian two wells you can uh, find where the aquifers are saturated highly saturated there the static pressure will be more the yield of the water will be more in such cases the water oozes out in cavity type two well the cavity is struck in the uh, bore well point this cavity yields the good water due to the uh, good aquifers are connected to the cavities these cavities absorb water and uh, fills the water in the cavity when the sinking bore well is uh, uh, entered into the cavity the water which is present in the cavity that will start moving inside the 
well due to the static water pressure the water naturally coming up so that is the static water level <coughs> ideal two well a two well is said to be ideal if it meets the requirements such as <coughs> the irrigation field is suitable for intensive irrigation designed di discharge is available in all seasons installed in an extensive water bearing formation of adequate depth located centrally or at the highest point in the irrigation field to command all the fields with minimum length of water course yields silt free water the two well yields silt free water it gives trouble free working preferably run by electric power so this is about the information of two well irrigation thank you